Looks like somebody collected Avon pipes. There are a number of these Avon pipes. Let's see what these coasters are. Ooh, what is this lampshade under here? Let's look at this basket. That's nicely coiled. That's one of the things you look at is like, what is that? Oh, it's a, a lint. No, it's Velcro. I don't know. What is that for? Not gonna pick that up. That's really pretty. That is a really, really pretty set. I've been a reseller for nearly 40 years, and I can't imagine my life without thrifting. I've learned about a lot of things over the years, and I love to share my knowledge and adventures with you. So let's go be profitable and make it fun. Well, it's official. The storm is over and we are back into the 90s. Not quite the 100 yet, the 90s. Uh, but it's a little bit on the human side, a little more than we're used to. Maybe it's my acclimation to uh, move to Florida. Hmm, who knows? Anyway, I am at Goodwill to see what treasures they have put on the shelves. Now today they just switched over to a new 50% off color. So let's scour those shelves, look for deals, but also look for good quality, shall I say, I was gonna say picky. No, I'm not gonna say picky. I'm gonna say selective. Selective items for resale. Now what's super exciting is you should see those items showing up right underneath this video. Yay, it's working again. And if not, I'll put a link in the very first comment of this video so you can find all the goodies that I, sh that I find in the videos and uh, yeah, that. No more emailing me and waiting for an invoice and all that stuff. It's right there, right there in every single video. Okay, with that, I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna get shop done. All right, let, let's pick out a lucky cart. Ooh, I don't know why, but this one's kind of calling to me. Oh, and it came off of there like butter. New color is orange. All right, they're revamping again. Always changing things up they are here. All right, we're gonna start over in the Nicky Nacky and glassware section. This caught my eye. It's got a lot of damage, but I wanted to see if it truly was a Capodimonte. Ah, oh, of course there's a sticker there, stand by. So it just says made in Italy. It does not say that it is a Capodimonte. It's unfortunate that it has so much damage on those little blossoms, so we'll have to leave it. Nice little crystal clear piece there. That's interesting with a little copper base. We've got turkey candle holders. They are five dollars each. But they're they're pretty cool. I'm not gonna pick them up, but we'll give them an honorable mention. All right, always lots of precious moments on the shelves. I wonder what that went to. Little iridescent piece. Looks like a newer piece. Yeah, nothing too exciting. I like this box here, this little crystal box with a I don't know if that's cut. No, it's pressed. It's kind of, I don't know, wait. No, I think it is cut, but it's a newer cut. It's When I knew, say newer, I mean, it's probably like 80s, 90s cut versus like American Brilliant cut. All right, we're not going to pick that up. We're gonna keep looking for really super good treasure. Oh, I just want to address this piece. I know, I know the Rose Parade is in Pasadena, California. This doesn't say Rose Parade. That, that is what I was talking about last time. It's got the rose and it's from Pasadena, but it doesn't say Rose Parade or Rose Bowl. So uh, I cannot attribute it to that specifically. And that is why I left it behind. I like these little coasters. They are shell and sweet grass is the type of uh, product plant plant life. 
Wow, I'm tired tonight. Plant life used to uh, make the basket portion of these. For $2.99, I'm gonna pick up that set of four. I've mentioned it before, coasters are a real bread and butter item for me. Lots of people like coasters, use coasters, decorate with coasters. These horses have very, very damaged ears. Are these bears? Bears. I thought for a minute they were hedgehogs. It is Odegary. It's missing its little, little winder. Gonna leave it. Okay. Don't see anything else on the shelf that is too exciting. It looks like somebody collected Avon pipes. There are a number of these Avon pipes. Some of them still have some cologne in them. There they are. Look at, they're all here. It's the whole collection. Unfortunately, Avon just is not, not picking up in value. And I don't expect it to be just because there was so much of it out there. So many of these pieces were um, pretty mass marketed by Avon. I mean, they did good but that does ruin the resale market it's supply and demand paper mache fruit on the other hand can be a really good pickup this one has cantaloupe and avocado and a banana there's some good pieces in there so for 4.99 i will pick that up Let's see what this is just a little crystal ball ornament type of thing little oil lamp that's interesting for $4.99 it's kind of delicate I like it though it's not old it's just got like a little wick in there so you don't even have to use this as an oil lamp you could put a flower in there I think for five bucks I'm gonna pick that up let's see what these coasters are Kenyan coffee mocha java coffee they came from marshall's or ceramic coaster set of four well goodness danny not how i intended that to happen but we got them out so there's mocha java espresso coffee oh the back on that oh wait oh no that's just a divider i thought it's loose no it's a divider between them french roast coffee and kenyan coffee i don't know it's nice, but I think we'll leave that one. I'm going to look in this bag of shells. I see a sand, I see two, three, four sand dollars. I do like sand dollars. A big scallop. It's kind of nice. A little piece of abalone. Ah, I've got plenty of shells right now. There's nothing super exciting in there, so I'm going to leave that one for somebody else. We still have a bunch of Christmas ornaments that were here before. Chasing fireflies. Premium Scentsy Warmer. Is that? Okay, the bottom's, the bottom's in there. The warmer top is in there. Why? Why are you still here? Do you have a big price on you? $9.99. You know what? I'm gonna look this one up. Okay, this one has some good value. And it's in its original box. I don't know why. Somebody opened this and saw that it's all here and then left it anyway. Well, I'm not going to leave it anyway, even at $9.99. And then there's this guy. Ahuma Homono Kuna Kuapua. <laughs> oh my goodness. NCL for $3.99. Uh, that's an interesting tiki mug. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick that one up. Let's just look around here, make sure there's not anything else exciting hiding here. Oh, look at this crown. You are from Hobby Lobby. You were $20 at Hobby Lobby, and now they've priced it at $10. i am going to put you down here so somebody can uh, fall in love with you, because you are kind of nice. Party light. Marble. Piece of watermelon. That's a cute little piece of watermelon. Do I need that piece of watermelon? I think I don't. Actually, Rachel is getting rid of some of her watermelon. That really surprised me, but 
Her shelves are pretty full. Maybe if I remember, I'll give you a little sneak peek of how she has gotten her collections all displayed again. It's pretty impressive. I'm gonna skip over a couple rows just because it's busy with shoppers. Look at this Buddha for $14.99. I would not want to ship him. That's, that's my hesitation here. So I'm gonna leave him. Just thinking what I needed that for. Nothing, I don't, I don't need it. This looks like, no, I was gonna say this looked like a, like an FTD thing, but it's Grace. It's pretty. Not super spectacular or anything. So let's keep looking. What are you? You don't know. Succulent growing kit. No. No. Mm. This is like an older little low planter. The fakeness doesn't do anything for it. Yeah, it doesn't look that old now that I look at it up close and personal. The shape and the color looked like it might be old, but I'm not so sure now. Got some little cherubs up there again. They're just, eh, not too exciting. Nice little brown. Again, looks the type, like the type that would be in a, a macrame holder. Not as fun as the one that I found the other day that literally was a 1960s, 70s. Okay, nothing in the clear. Let's look over here. See if there's any surprises, but I don't, I don't see any. I like the cage, but I'm gonna leave the cage. What did I say the color was? Orange? I haven't seen any orange. Yeah, I see a couple oranges. Not a lot though. Hmm. No excitement in the metals. That's kind of cool. Look at this Egyptian box. Oh, it's leather. I thought it was tin. It's actually leather. Now it's got a little wear to the little leather tab that fastens, but the top looks pretty nice. It's got a little, little ding right there. That's a pretty sweet piece. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know how much that wear affects the value. It's a cool piece for $5. Let me look it up. Okay, Google search has failed me. Mm. The question is, can I get at least 15 for this? That's the criteria. I'm a little torn, only because of the damage. If there was no damage, it'd be a no-brainer. I'm, I'm wrestling on this one. You know, I just, this part of it is so vibrant and the color is so good. That's, that's what's really going through my head. And the silk interior is in good shape. You know what? I, I swear, I hear some people screaming through the screen right now. Get it! Okay. And it's okay. If I make a mistake, I'm going to have some fun doing the research on that one and learning a thing or two. That is actually how I learn. But I think I'll be okay. I think, I think it's a cool piece. Little telephone booth. What are those? Telephone box English breakfast tea produced for the United Kingdom. Those are, those are cute. I don't know what you do with them after the fact, but they are cute. Ooh, what is this lampshade under here? It is, it is Coca-Cola upside down. Oh, so it goes on one of those like uh, floor lamps because it would need to go this way, but it's actually plastic. It's not even like the fake glass. It's plastic, so we'll leave that one. Let's see what we've got over here in the wood section. I kind of like these shelves. You hang them like little shadow boxes. I have 
different shaped ones for my old bathroom. These are kind of nice. See, they got the little hangers on them. $2.99. I don't know. I think they're a little dark. I'm not going with anything quite that dark. I'm, I'm going with a little bit more color and a little bit more of exactly what I love because they're going to be in this house for a very long time. And then there is a gemstone mask. I'm worried about the tape and that it is holding together some of the gemstone pieces and it is broken on the bottom. So for those reasons, we're going to leave that. Let's see what else we can find. What is this? I'm not sure what that is for. Kenzai Studio from TJ Maxx. All right. I think maybe a bookend. Oh, look, more fruit. So this is one piece of the paper mache fruit in it, and the rest is plastic and not very good plastic either. I do like the pickle, but no, there's nothing in that one that, that warrants picking it up. I wish the watermelon had made its way over to the other bag, but alas, it did not. Those are nice little napkin rings. Could be used for little holders. I have plenty. I have plenty though, so we're going to leave those. Let's look at this basket. That's nicely coiled. That's one of the things you look at is like how tight is the the weaving and how well is it put together. It does have little plastic connectors, so it's not really that high end or old, so we're going to leave that one. Parzival? Who's Parzival? I have no idea who Parzival is. Let's pick stuff up. Let's look over here. I see bulldogs on a shelf. Ooh. The shelf itself has a little bit of wear to it on the corners, but the bulldogs look really good and they are signed. Oh, 2004. Something in Stein. This is kind of nice. Oh, here. It's got a story on the back. Oh, it's the Stone Bunny Ink. Okay, okay. Stone Bunny Ink Bulldog Coat Rack. You know what? I bet this was quite pricey in its day. And black is really super easy to touch up. I mean, it's it just needs a little dab of, little dab of uh, maybe some black Sharpie even to make that look extra nice but then you've got these amazing bulldogs so you know what for 10 bucks we are picking that up some of these little painted rocks what is that oh it's a, a lint no it's velcro i don't know what is that for i swear some stuff just puzzles me like what is it chalkboard blocks okay we don't need that Bailey from Mercury Insurance. I think he was here last time. Okay, let's see. It's under here. Nothing except, <gasps> give me an E. I tell you, I get such mixed reviews when I do that. Some people absolutely hate it, and then some of you love it. So we'll find a happy medium of how often I do it. How's that? It's a goose. I could have Rachel paint this purple for Noah. And he could put some books in it. I feel like, I feel like that would be a really cool project. Cause Noah is the purple goose on his YouTube channel. That's, that's where I'm going with that. Unless somebody absolutely screams out and says, no, I want to buy it as is. There is that too. I can find him a different purple goose. But either way, this is going in the cart. And I'm trying to figure out what this little set is. I guess they're just little shelves. And that little lacquer, little lacquered box that I can't open one-handed. There we go, there we go. Ooh. It's a crescent. Oh, it's very, very dirty inside. We'll leave that. All right, time for the plastics. Feeling like I need some things for the fridge. And then there's Tupperware. 
It is $2.99 for this older piece of Tupperware. Let's see, there's something on the inside. Okay, stand by. So see, it's got like a little keeper thing. Would this be good for rinsing some veggies and then storing them and then it keeps them out of the moisture? Or, uh, I'm gonna have to look up and see what the purpose of this piece is, but I do pick up old Tupperware and I like this piece, so for $2.99 it's going in the cart. I think this is also a piece of Tupperware. It is, but it's missing its lid. I wonder if the lid's here somewhere. Oh look, there's like all kinds of old Tupperware. That lid is in bad shape. I know there are pieces that uh, you can get a replacement lid from Tupperware, but I am one who does not like to go through the hassle of doing that. I don't know. I just don't have time. I don't have time for you know, emailing or going and finding a contact form and do, it's just, yeah, I just, it's just me. I don't know. Is that terrible? Is that Tupperware? No. Is it? Rubbermaid. I saw a long name. It was the wrong letters though. Okay, I don't see. Anything else in the plastics? Nope. Nope. Nothing else. Let's see what we have over here in the plates. You're pretty. You are 1978 Jenny M painted that. interesting little pattern there. Make you. You are Terrazzo Ceramica. Kind of nice. I kind of sworn off buying plates though. <laughs> little shuffs. Just blue striped. And then you say, but then why are you even looking if you're not going to buy any? Because I would buy them if they were super special. There are exceptions to every rule. Sakura Casual Dining Roosters, Warren Kimball Roosters. That's probably a pretty good set, but they want $6 a piece on those. Oh, look at this peacock color plate. That's kind of fabulous. Kind of fabulous. Ooh, dragons. Dragons are usually a good pickup. So let's see who makes you. We don't have a name. We just have $2 each on those dragon plates. Now these aren't super big hard plates to ship. So you know what? I think I'm gonna pick those up for a buck ninety-nine each. Alright, let's see. Oh that's a nice little uh, pottery of a little sauce dish. It's $1.99. I love it. It's like an earthenware stoneware with a real heavy cobalt blue that kind of turns into a rust color. That's a nice piece. That's a nice piece for a buck ninety-nine. I'm gonna grab that. And that's why I do look through the plates in the bowls because there will always be some little exceptions to the rule in there. This is actually a coconut shell. Jalan, Costa Rica butterfly. That's that's pretty fab. I don't like the snake though. I'm not a fan of the snake. All right, let's look through the glassware. And let me just address, I know I'm going to get the comment. <laughs> I get it every time I say that I just am not fond of a certain thing and that's my reason for leaving something behind. I get it. I mean, there are as many people out there as there are things to purchase and so for me, it's just one of the things that helps me pare down the items that I purchase. So I can't, I can't buy everything that everybody would like. So for me, it's about buying things that I like to deal with, that I want to deal with, that's going to make me get up in the morning and do this business because this business can be really super hard. And so if you're dealing with things that you don't really have a fondness for, it's going to be even harder. So that's why I say 
pick a niche that you absolutely love and go with it and look for things that fit that and have fun with this business. Uh, because at the end of the day, you might as well. And there's a way to do it and make really good money. You don't have to deal with things just because, you know, somebody else says they're worth money or you think they're worth money and you go, oh gosh, the guilt of leaving it behind. No guilt. Just deal with what you love and say, not today. That is kind of a great mug, but I'm not going to pick it up. I kind of like this. Uh, I thought he was like a, a jailbird gnome for a minute with the stripes. I don't know. It's kind of where, where his vibe was taking me. I don't see anything. Except somebody testing a vacuum. There it is again, folks. There it is again. I just think it's kind of funny. This comes from the Colorado Bell in Laughlin. Fun little drink cup. Now, I've already finished my Easter and August sale, or I probably would have picked this up. Little Easter gnomes. But now I don't want to hold on to it until Easter, so. Not gonna pick that up. That's really pretty. That is a really, really pretty set. I definitely don't want to ship it and deal with it, but I want to know who makes it. Let's see. Uh, and of course, it is not marked. So, we may never know. Pretty bird canister, but it's got a lot of fading. It's behind here. Nothing too exciting. It's funny, I have that very, very same paper towel holder in my kitchen. That's not a bad price. $7.99. It does have a little little ding and a little damage to it though, so we'll leave it. Let's see what we got here. Cute little jars. Floors. Oh. It's kind of sweet. Little celadon mugs. But nothing that we're going to pick up. These have a interesting 90s kind of vibe going on. And nice little decanter, but I don't really deal in decanters either. Not my thing unless they are like, you know, super exciting and colorful and all of that. Oh, this little bee is, it is Butterfly Meadows. I'm really, I'm really sad that the bee is broken. I would have picked that up had it not been broken. Oh look, there's another one. This one's a little wobbly lobby too. Cool little grape bowl. Oop! My bad. Sorry. Sorry little buddy. He's okay. Okay. I just spotted this guy. He needs to be back with his friends. Now it's, can Danny remember where they were? There you go. All right, we are now in the crafty kind of section. Oh, there is a phrenology dog. This is sold at TJ Maxx for five. Oh, it's a cat. No, it's a dog. Why does that look like a cat? Oh my goodness, I'm so confused now. He does have a little bit of a broken nose, so we're gonna leave him either way, but. Okay, I guess it's a dog. I guess it's a dog. And there's this thing. Oh, look at this. Look at the detail on this. He has got the business journal, advertising agreement, book of lists from the business journal. So this is something to do with the business journal, obviously. I wish there was a year somewhere. A's may play, but with Silicon Valley. So there's a headline there. It is, it is glass. It is like a stained glass card holder piece. Again, I, I think it's really cool. And because it's real glass, I'm gonna pick that up for $5.99. Notepad sets, Lifesaver, Scrub Life, and Nurse Life. Oh, they're for nurses. They're Ray Dunn. $2.99. Hmm. I'll leave that for a nurse to find. Okay, I am not sure. There is anything else here for us to find. Is that for pool sticks? 
Let's see. It is. That is a really nice pool stick case for $5.99. Mm, it's just not really my niche, so I'm going to leave it, but that's going to be a good pickup for somebody. All right. Tools and pet supplies are side by side. What is this fish? What is his purpose? He's like, 3D fish, but I don't know what he's supposed to do. So we will leave him. Then we're going to the bathroom section and see if there's anything here. There's a little copper train bank. Not a super high end piece. Nope, I don't see anything here. All right, an M&M mug. I have several M&M mugs that I haven't done anything with, so I'm not going to pick up another one. I guess it's, again, it's one of those things, it doesn't really like excite me to deal with it, so I kind of put it off, put off putting it in a sale or anything. And we have some cast iron down here. Oh, those are heavy. Let's see, they are, got a name, they are Tramantina? Tramantina. I'm assuming they're probably the same brand. No, that one says Old Mountain. I just, I don't know. I know a lot of people swear by cast iron. I just never have been a fan. I know the thought of not really like just scrubbing clean the thing after cooking in it just, it does not appeal to me. And I know that's a thing. You gotta season them and let them kind of build up and I just can't bring myself to do it. I just can't. More power to those who can because I hear they cook some really, really good meals. What is this? Is this little guy. He's also cast iron with a wood top. Look at that. And then a coated interior. Not signed, not marked. We don't know who makes that one. And they got a little bit of mishmash over here. Oh, that's that foam paper. Yeah, nothing too exciting. I did snag some canvases for Rachel. I'm not picking up too many for her, but when I get a super good deal on them, I do pick them up. So there are six of these nice square canvases, these 14 by 14, for just $5.99. That's a buck a canvas. All right, let's take a peek at the lamps. Got some palm trees up there that are interesting. Okay, they're not wood, they're resin. So not as interesting as I thought. All right, I don't see anything worth looking at any closer. All right, we're gonna peek through the art. The art looks pretty picked through tonight. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Several of those frames. I mean, it's really, really disheveled tonight. Somebody's really been rooting through here. A little still life. That is a print. Mm. Yeah, I'm not super motivated to dig through here too much. I don't see any frames that look very old. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see anything we need here tonight. Oh, look what they have. I've always really wanted one of those chairs. Let's see, let's get over here. Take a peek, it looks like somebody's already claimed it because the tag is missing. And that's what they do if you pick the little tag off of it and carry it although wait a minute wait a minute oh, no it's still here look the tag is here it just fell off oh this would be great on the patio can I fit this in the car I feel like I could fit this in the car oh my gosh can I fit this in the car mm. they don't hold items and I'm scared that I wouldn't be able to fit this in the car so what to do 
what to do, Danny, what to do. Could I, I feel like I can get this in the car. I feel like I can. Okay, I'm the one claiming it. All right, let's head over to the pillows and see if there's anything. Nothing exciting at all in the pillows tonight. Goodness. Quick jaunt through the pillowcase, pillowcases, tablecloths. The word is right there in front of me and I still didn't come out with it. That's because I was looking across the way at the pillowcases while I was looking here. The brain is a funny thing. Okay, nothing there. Towels, curtains, rugs. I kind of just walk through and see if anything just kind of calls to me. And I don't see anything calling to me tonight. Except what's this? Is that a hat? What kind of a hat is that? That is made in Taiwan. I mean, it's that's a vintage hat. That's interesting. Okay, all right. I'm sure, huh, I'm sure someone was a fashionista wearing that back in the day, huh? Okay, a little peek through the toys. That looks like one of those very realistic looking tiger plushes. It is. Boy, if you would have bought this at the Siegfried and Roy Secret Garden when they were open, that would have cost you about 50 bucks. I can't see through it to see what the tag is. A little bit, little bit expensive to ship that because that's not gonna crush down and he's quite large. So we're gonna leave him. Oh, look, it's a taco truck. Okay, focus, Danny, focus. Let's see what's over here. I'm actually contemplating letting go of my plush store and really just focusing on the hard goods and the vintage. It's kind of a hard decision to make, but there's just not enough of me to go around and I don't foresee hiring anybody to help manage a store that, you know, plush has gone down and down and down in value and it's harder and harder to find the ones that sell for really big money. So it's something I'm contemplating. What do you guys think I should do? I'm gonna head over to the purse, but I'm really, it's on my mind. Very, very heavy of what to do with all my plush. It takes a lot of room to store it, but it would be really easy to put it into really big bundles and sell to uh, someone else who wants to maybe sell it on whatnot or wants to put it on eBay and, and kind of wait for it to sell. I just, it's a tough, it's a tough decision. I've had that plush store for a long time. Never really talked a lot about it. It was like my test store, but it's run its course and now it's out in the open. It's not a test store anymore. So I've got to decide what to do. Look at this. Nevermore. Oh, that is cool. That is a Devi's Diversions. That's, that's a really fun bag. And it is, what did I say? I didn't say. What did I read? $5.99. I think I'm going to pick that one up. That's a kind of a wild bag. Look at that wild like seriously wild very very worn out though hmm. oh this one called to me a little bit what are you yeah you're cheaply made fun colors but cheaply made hmm Let's see it's a fun little fur purse made by Holiday Faux Fur Wine Bag. Wine bag? What makes it a wine bag? How do you define a wine bag versus a purse? I guess a little singleton handle there. It's kind of a little crowded in the store tonight. Oh, that got cut. That's not good. Let's see, what are you? You are kind of that canvasy material. Wow, that's a strong clasp. Okay. You are a Lulu. I don't know that brand. And you're very, very dirty. All right. 
they got a clothes rack here in front of the rest of the purses. Sneak back here and see if anything's hiding from us. You notice I veer to small purses? Dexter. Dexter? I don't know that brand. I tend to go for the small purses. It's kind of just, I, 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 for me, I can't fathom like carrying a big purse. I know, I know a lot of people like a big purse. I just, I just don't. So I don't, uh, I don't connect with the big purses so much. Okay, let's look at the jewelry. I can't see how much those little owl earrings are. Oh, they're $1.99. I think we're gonna end up grabbing those out. While I wait for somebody to come over to the jewelry counter, I will peruse the rest of them. Let's see what else we got. Little black roses are interesting, but nah really that interesting oh that pin is quite nice look at that it's got like a little uh, mesh design I will look closer at that one fashion earrings all right I don't see any other earrings up here let's look that one's kind of interesting that with all the little triangles. Don't quite know how I feel about it. And let's see, any other bracelets? No, any necklaces? We just don't have like the really high quality jewelry coming through here. I, I think they snag most of it for the shop Goodwill site. I really do, I think that's where they put most of what they consider the good jewelry. And kind of the junkier jewelry comes here, so to speak. Every once in a while you can find a gem that slips through, but not too much. Okay, here's this guy. Oh yeah, that's it's actually a little sign piece too. Oh, it's Coro. Yeah, $6. Yeah, I think it's okay to get for $6. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the Coro. And then here are the little owls. They're just fun for $1.99. So we'll get those too. This piece I'm looking closer at is a 19, 1937 brand. It's $7.99 though, so I think I'm going to leave that one. This piece caught my eye real quick, but then I get it out and it's like it's really cheaply constructed. So it's just interesting at first. I think that was it. Okay, we're gonna head to the checkout. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll tell you everything I bought, how much I paid, and how much it's worth. And then stay tuned for a deep dive into some of these items after I've done the research and know a little bit more about them. That's coming up right now.
moment of truth. Will I get it in the car? We're driving around to go pick it up right now. It was really, really close. It did not go in the back of the car. We got it in the side door somehow. Uh, but it's in. I got myself a Papa Sun chair. I have always wanted one. I'm super excited. Okay, Boosh, you know what time it is? Yeah, you get very excited when it is time to go through our little recap and talk about the things that I bought. You didn't buy. I bought them. Let's let's make no mistake there, okay? You Yeah. You you're not really living up to your your end of the making a living thing yet. No. You could do better. You could do better. All right. Let's get into the haul. Here's my little table of goodies with all the eclectic variety. It's funny, now that I'm laying things out like this, I can tell when I have like a theme going and when I don't, when it's just, you know, stuff. Oh, you know what? This isn't supposed to be here. That's from yesterday's video. We'll just put that right down there. Okay, let's kind of go through these items a little bit better. Why I made some of these decisions. I talked about this a little bit. The uh, seashell coasters. I do really well with coasters. Coasters are very functional people use them they decorate with them and they give them as gifts there's so many different things to do with coasters they're a, they're kind of a lower end bread and butter item but they're very very consistent and they're easy to ship so i paid 2.99 for these and as you saw they're worth about 12 to 15 and as i am filming this they're available in my shopify store until they get sold so make sure you, if you are interested in something you see in the video, you head over to the Shopify store and check it out. All right, um, this is probably the item I should not have purchased. This, I found out, NCL is Norwegian Cruise Line. So this is a cruise ship tiki mug. I mean, it's interesting. It's pretty. It's, you know, humu humu hunu kunu kua pua, well, however that is said. I think it's a fish. See, it's the fish on the side. I actually have a Huma Huma trigger. Uh, paid $3.99. It's worth like $8 to $10. That's it. That's it. Uh, the little oil lamp turns out to be Williamsburg glass. Quite a nice piece. Paid $49.99. It's worth $20 to $25. And now in my Shopify store, I always put things on the low end of the value not the high end the business card holder this was just fun he was just fun uh business journal obviously this was made for somebody that worked for the business journal is the business journal even a thing i don't know i didn't look maybe it just represents newspaper i don't know it is real stained glass though it is not plastic and he's got a pen in his hand all the little details are there. Just incredible detail on this piece. Uh, so I did pay $5.99. Paid up a little bit. It's not worth a whole lot. $12 to $15. Lesson learned. They're not worth as much as you would think they would be worth based on how much work is put into those. The Pottery Barn. Pottery Bowl. I'm reading my notes. I didn't buy a pot Pottery Barn. Nothing. I bought a Pottery Bowl. Okay, this is a hobbyist piece. It is signed Leslie. You can tell just the signature, you know, is a, a hobbyist signature. But it's really well done. Look at how round it is. So sometimes as a potter is first starting out, their items will not be, well, shall we say, as balanced as they should be. Um, so it looks like they were learning this new glaze technique maybe. Uh, and it's got the heavy, heavy cobalt blue with the spatter. They did a really nice job. It's a quite a thick little bowl. And it, because it is really good quality, just because it's a hobbyist piece doesn't mean it doesn't have value. So this is worth, again, like $12 to $15, but I only paid a buck ninety nine. Then we have the Egyptian box. The Egyptian box... Now, what sadly happened when I took the price tag off, even heating it up, even, I know, I know all the tricks, it still pulled off a little bit of the coloring on this. It is leather. This is a leather case with a silk lining. It's just kind of incredible. So I picked it up anyway. 
I am going to offer it for sale. Obviously not for as much as if it had been perfect. You know, it's got a little ding here, a little ding there. I think it's got quite a bit of age on it, but I just absolutely love the vibrant colors and the fact that it's made out of leather. So I paid $4.99 in this condition, worth $15 to $20. Had this been in like spectacular condition, might have even been able to double that. Um, but condition is reflecting the price on that. The goose. Now Noah said go ahead and sell the goose if I could get a good price for it. So you'll see the goose offered for sale. But if the goose doesn't sell, Rachel's going to paint the goose purple for Noah. But never fear. If it sells, we're going to find another goose to paint purple for Noah. He will get a purple goose. We got the Scentsy Chasing Fireflies Warmer. Now, I did notice the bulb was not in here. Actually, I did this late at night. I just want to double check that the bulb isn't laying down here on the bottom. The bulb is not in the little bulb holder, but yeah, there's no bulb. Now, the good thing is, a while back, someone had donated some extra Scentsy light bulbs to the Good Stuff Thrift Store and I have uh, Betsy, my manager, working on seeing if those are still there. So I, I might be able to add a bulb to that and sell it. But uh, paid $9.99, it's worth $25 to $30. Tupperware. So, oh, the Tupperware excites you? Is that what, is that your favorite? <laughs> a little delayed response there, Boosh. Uh, so we've got the Tupperware steamer. It is vintage. Tupperware is really easy to look up because they all have a little number on the bottom. It's kind of small sometimes. I don't know if that's even coming through. I don't know if that's even focusing to where you can see. Here, let me set it down and then point out to where it is. It's right there. I know. Very hard to see. But there's always going to be a number associated with Tupperware, and then that makes it really easy to look up. This one's in really good condition, and it has retained a value of $20 to $25 over the years. Fake fruit. So I separated. This is the paper mache. That's the other. Now, I wish that other watermelon paper mache piece had been included in this. Darn it. Um, but look at the cantaloupe with the seeds. How spectacular. I, I feel like somebody added those seeds after the fact, but that just makes it <laughs> because it's just incredible. I know, I know. I think somebody did a DIY there. Um, I'm thinking mango and, a, or maybe peach, banana, avocado, Four pieces of this paper mache fruit will sell in the $12 to $15 range. All this other stuff here, the lemons, actually a really good quality lemon. This, this not, not so much. This piece is interesting. It's got kind of a weird texture, so I don't know about it. I would sell this all together if I was selling it. I'll probably use these in my assemblage pieces, but if I was selling it, Value would be like a eight to ten dollars on that. So all in all, twenty to twenty-five on my five-dollar purchase of the fake fruit. Dragons, dragons are almost always a good bet to pick up. Uh, these are made in Japan. Finally, oh, there it is. Finally got the sticker off and could see. It says NTC. I don't know who NTC is, but I did find this same dragon plate for sale in the $15 to $20 each. Uh, so there you go. Dragons are a good pickup. They are a raised Moriage on here. There's uh, like, a, they're painted and you can feel it. And so I don't think I would use them, uh, but they're more decorative and collectible. The Stone Bunny ink shelf, coat rack, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and what do you say? What do you say about these guys? Now I have this up for sale right now. I haven't done anything to it. I think if we get a little time, we will try to work on, I think I'll have Rachel maybe paint the edges and, and just clean it up a little bit and uh, we'll update the pictures. But for now it's up for grabs just the way it is. Stone Bunny Ink makes a lot of yard decor and different 
kind of eclectic, unusual things, but anybody who loves bulldogs is definitely going to love this piece. He is so fantastic. And I have a value of 40 to $50 on this piece because I could not find another one like it. So then what I do is I look at other Stone Bunny ink unusual pieces, similar size, similar kind of a rarity in the market, and I base my pricing on that. This purse, this purse. Now, I just found an Edgar Allan Poe item the other day, and so this says, nevermore. Uh, Bougie, what do you think of this purse? It's got a bird. Oh, you're running away. You are a messy eater. Look at that. That's all seed that he's just kind of chomping away at. Did you run away? Why are you running away? Are you afraid of the bird? I didn't even show you the owl. Is the owl scary too? <laughs> he's coming back. He's coming back. Uh, so we've got an owl on one side with bat juice and eye of frog. And it's got a little zipper pocket here that we can open up. And then you've got the, the little crow down inside that lining. And then this side is the crow with the Nevermore. And the whole thing is lined with that fabric, if I can show you. There we go. It's just really well constructed, made by D's Diversion, or Dye's Diversion, however they say that. Paid $5.99, 15 to $18. Okay, we got some jewelry. This piece had a really good look to it from the case, and sure enough, it is signed Coro. Coro is a good brand of vintage costume jewelry to pick up. This one ends up being worth $20 to $25, so my $5.99 purchase was a good one. And then the owls have been talking about doing an all owl bird sale, so I got these with that in mind. Paid $1.99, they're worth eight to 10. They are down in the Shopify store. If anybody wanted to get them before I do that sale, I'll gather things that didn't sell for that sale. So there it is. There's the haul, Bouge, what do you think? Are you okay? You're not very talkative today. You were much more talkative yesterday, but that's okay. I know, sometimes we just have our days, right? Are you too busy eating and making a mess? Yeah. You going to be quiet today? You act like you didn't sleep well or something. Look at you like all fluffed up. Are you in a dancing mood? Want to dance? Yeah. Get down. Boogie, yuggie, yuggie. Get down. Boogie, yuggie, yuggie. You're a good bird. All right. He will get a pistachio for that. I will sign off now. You go be profitable and make it fun. We'll see you on the next one.